No matter how much data-related knowledge and skills you may have, if you can't write a great resume, you won't be able to get that initial first-stage interview where you can actually showcase all of that knowledge and skills so that you can go on and get a job as a data analyst. At larger companies, your resume might just be scanned by an automated system looking for the right tools, skills, and keywords before it even gets passed on to the recruiter. Once the recruiter has it, they may have another look at it before recommending it to the hiring manager with whom you'd eventually have the first stage interview. Hey, my name is Mo Chen and I work as a data and analytics analyst within the financial services industry. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a data analyst resume that stands out from the rest, one that will allow you to get that really important initial interview. I will break down this video into five sections, relevant work experience or project work if you don't have any relevant work experience, education, technical skills, portfolio, and any interesting personal information with relevant work experience or project work being the main section. There's a link in the description below to the template that I'm using in this video. Feel free to download it and use it. If you do, make sure that you're using either Microsoft Word or if you don't want to pay for Word, you can use WPS Office as the formatting is really off when you open it up in Google Docs. If you want to, you can create your own resume based on the template below and send it to my email address, which I also included in the description below. I'd be more than happy to review your resumes in a future video. If you do decide to send it to my email, please make sure that you anonymize your resumes. When writing your resume, you certainly want to start out with the most important information at the top, which in my opinion is relevant work experience or project related work if you don't have any relevant work experience. And I say relevant here because it's okay if you don't or have never worked in a pure data analyst role before. As long as you can mention tasks and projects working with data, you should be absolutely fine for entry level roles, I think. Now, of course, if you're still studying, no one will expect you to have full time permanent employment experience. So it's absolutely okay if you include any internships, project related works, anything you've learned, you know, during your studies here. Some people like to include a short summary at the very top. I personally don't do so because I don't think it adds much value. The only things that I include at the top is my name and the contact details. By default, I include obviously the job title, the company's name, the location, and then the period of employment here. When writing this section and describing the tasks you do, make sure you don't just state what you did. Think of why you did what you did, how that impacted yourself, your team, your business area. What was the problem you're trying to solve? What did you do to solve this problem? And what was the impact or the benefit of you solving this problem? When writing this section, make sure you include the specific tools, technologies, and technical skills that you used to carry out these tasks. So I like to highlight them in bold. So you see Tableau, Python here highlighted. I also have Excel. And then I also have SAS SQL down here highlighted. Now, moving on to the second section, education. Obviously, by default here, make sure to include the degree you're obtaining or pursuing or have already obtained, the institution's name, the location, and then the period you attended the institution. Now here, I don't think you need to list all of the courses and modules you've taken. Make sure to list only the ones that are relevant to data and analytics that are relevant to carrying out the day-to-day -day tasks of a data analyst, which is exactly what I did here. I recently also completed an online data engineering nano degree focused on cloud computing. And even though the degree is obviously tailored to data engineering, it has so many elements that I can use as a data analyst, such as um, designing data models, building data warehouses and data lakes, automating data pipelines that I decided to include it in here. The degree is also a great way to show that I'm willing to go above and beyond and I'm curious and I'm ready to expand my horizons and continuously learn. Speaking of education, let me know in the comments below what degree you're currently pursuing or have already obtained, or just leave a note on whatever online degree or certification you're currently working on or have already completed. 
Now moving on to the third section, technical skills right here at the very top. I like to include a separate section just for the technical skills here and list them because I feel like it's so easy for people to notice and quickly scan through. And this doesn't have to be hardcore coding skills, data visualization skills, or Microsoft application skills only. If you have any certifications related to domain or industry knowledge, then I think this here would be a perfect place to include it. I work in finance and I pass the CFA level one exam. CFA stands for Chartered Financial Analyst. It's an extremely challenging exam within the world of banking. And I include it here because it's completely relevant to my industry. And it shows that I have the domain knowledge on top of all the other hardcore, you know, pure data analyst skills such as SQL, Python or Tableau. So onto the portfolio section, this is where you'd include any links to your portfolio projects. Ideally, you'd like to have around five projects, each showcasing something a little bit different. You could have one project focused on data gathering, cleaning the raw data sets and manipulating them to arrive at the final clean data sets that are ready for analysis. You could use Python for this, for example, or you could have another project where you use SQL to develop insights and answer analytical questions based on a data set of your choice. Or you could have a data visualization project where you create dashboards using your preferred choice of BI tool. I made an end-to-end -end data analyst portfolio project recently covering everything from data gathering through data cleansing and manipulation to data visualization within Tableau. If you're interested, link is in the description below. Make sure to check it out. And finally, I like to make some room for some interesting personal information here at the bottom. So I included languages and hobbies. I included languages for myself because I think speaking English, Chinese and Hungarian fluently or natively is a very unique combination of languages. My parents are Chinese and I was born and raised in Hungary. And if you don't know where that is, it's a small country in Eastern Europe. I moved to the UK for uni when I was 18 and stayed here ever since then, which is how I ended up speaking these three languages. Now for the hobbies, I love to be active. So I included anything from, you know, running, hiking, swimming, cycling, doing yoga, lifting weights, whatever. I just like to be on the go. And of course, I also included my YouTube channel down here as it's uh, definitely one of the hobbies that I really enjoy doing. I love connecting with you guys from all over the world and share my knowledge and my passion and my love for data. I'd love to find out what your hobbies are. Is it playing sports or some kind of instruments? Is it collecting some unique items? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it. This is how I wrote my resumes that got me all the data analyst job interviews. So I'm sure if you do the same, you'll also get the interviews. If you like this video, then make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.